This is a continuation video to our last range visit. We were out here shooting the new Brownell slide on our Polymer 80 and we had the pin walk out. Well today we're out here with the same Polymer 80 lower, but we have the older uh, Brownell slide, the original one that was married up to this uh, Polymer 80 lower reattached. And uh, we're going to shoot this today to see if we can get this pin to walk out again. And in addition to that, uh, we want to come out and we're shooting uh, the OEM front sight on this and the reason for that is we had a comment in, in uh, on one of our last videos uh, by a gentleman by the name of Keith that had spoke to uh, Glock and some other folks and had said that the point of aim point of impact uh, on some of the Glocks or and or mentioned maybe the Brownells uppers I believe uh, the point of aim and point of impact would be affected by the Ameriglow fiber optic target sights because they sat lower than the uh, front sight and with this particular uh, slide that was true I pretty much had to dot the eye uh, when I had the Ameriglow front sight fiber optic on this I would have to uh, hold that a little higher than the uh, metaled notch sight kind of dot in the eye in order to hit point of, aim, point of impact so I'm gonna see if I can do point of aim point of impact without making any adjustments other than uh, aiming lining up the uh, the sights as you should and uh, see if I get point of aim and point of impact on that. So we're here to test functionality to see if we can get the pin to walk out and uh, point of aim to point of impact utilizing the Merigola rear steel notch sight and the OEM front sight. So that's enough talking. Let's put some rounds down range. First series, here we go. Target on the right, target on the right, center mass. Complete. Rounds complete. Block 17 mag. Here we go. complete. Third series polymer 80, 31 rounds. We'll do a uh, controlled cadence and we'll pick up the pace. complete. Hey, let's take a look at this frame. It doesn't look like we have any pin movement at all on either side of this polymer 80. So I'm thinking uh, the heavier slide, slower recoil to the rear is uh, making all the difference in the world with the internals on this uh, on this polymer 80. Unlike yesterday when we were getting some pin walkage on there. So um, I think we'll put I think we'll put uh, another magazine through here. Uh, we'll do it at a cadenced pace, see if we can make anything happen with 15 more rounds. And if not, we'll wrap it up. Third and final series, polymer 80. 15 rounds.
No pin movement. No pin movement at all. all right, hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and uh, we're going to wrap up this range visit for the Bremer 80 with the original Brian L slide on here. Um, did real well, no malfunctions. First we'll talk about uh, the functionality. And what I mean by that is this slide, the other slide was recoiling with more force than this slide is. And this is playing havoc on the internals on this polymer 80 for whatever reason. I haven't had any problems today. Uh, we went 78 rounds today. It's not a lot, but yesterday I was walking the pin out with, you know, 15. 30. So I have no pin movement. We'll keep an eye on that. And uh, we were also here to check point of, point of impact. So let's talk about that real quick. All right, so if you look at our target, polymer 80, 6.5 yards, all 78 rounds. My point of aim was center mass of the black dot. Uh, my point of impact, as you can see, was, oh, inch, inch and a half low. So again, for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't matter if I had the Meriglo fiber optic site on the front or this Glock OEM site, which is uh, taller, I'm, uh, I'm still hitting a little low, which means that I'm going to have to bring the front end of the pistol up just a little bit and dot the eye back here. Or just keep in mind that I'm going to hit an inch low or so and compensate for that uh, with, my, uh, with my aiming. I'm very happy with that though. It's very accurate. So uh, no problems there. Uh, agency arms barrel, by I think, the way. Uh, we'll wrap up the video. I think we achieved what we needed to achieve today. Uh, I feel a little better about that pin walkage. Um, the front sight. I'm just going to leave the OEM on there for a little while and see how that uh, that plays out. Maybe it's some longer distances on another range visit. Uh, but besides that, we'll just keep an eye on that pin. This is Toe 2 Bravo, and I appreciate you watching until I see you out at the range again. All right, we got a little bonus footage here. Actually, we had some ammo left over. So we've got one more 17-round uh, mag, Glock 17 mag with uh, brass ammo for the Polymer 80. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and see what we get we'll do a very fast cadence here and then uh, this will totally be it and then we'll be done with this range visit so here we go very nice all rounds complete no issues there Nothing going on with the pin there. Nothing going on with the pin there. So I'm pretty convinced that uh, with this heavier frame, it solves that pin walking problem. And uh, I'm happy with that. So this is Toe 2 Bravo. Thanks for watching.